the teams are coming out here at the at the Brentford Community Stadium and uh, Jack Stevens leads Saints out in their lime green or yellow tops, lime green, black shorts and green stockings. As Bednarik is done by the tricky skills of Mikhail Damsgaard. He's been a bit of a flop, but he's in the team today. And after two seasons of underperforming, the Danish winger, and he's in, and there's a Bremer goes to him, and he tries to get the shot, and Ramsdale makes a brilliant save early on. Mikhail Damsgaard brought back into the team. Literally, we can't punish it and be a bit brave on things, but that comes a brilliant now, ball. Now, here they go down the right. Walker Peters, can he pull it back? It's blocked by Fleck and the Dutch keeper, and away for a corner. And Walker Peters is left down, injured. He's back near halfway, he's OK. Here comes the corner, drilled into the near post. I thought it was easier to score. And in the end, somehow, Joe Rebo missed it with the contact he made. And it's gone behind for a corner off the defender. It looked harder to head it where he did head it from that near post. On this near right-hand side, he has Christopher Ayer, who suddenly burst forward. The Norwegian plays a clever ball into the box. Bodies racing on, and Bremo hasn't scored. And then it's hacked away by Harwood Bellis. Downs helps it further out. I'm not sure it was going in any way. Jensen and Norgard in their sixth. And Umbremo, there's a real good core here. As Umbremo plays it inside to Wisser, turns away from one, challenge fires the shot. Easily saved by Ramsdale, but encouraging for Brentford again. And will the flag go up? It won't, so he's onside, Ethan Pinnock, playing like a left winger out there. And a great ball he's played too. Sent back inside towards Wisser. One time layoff. Shot hits Bednarik and balloons off his head as Norgard belted it and it goes out for a corner. But uh, as things stand, it's OK as Brereton Diaz plays a ball on the half turn over the top. And actually, Arebo's going to get there. Collins sort of went, ran away from him, interestingly. Now Arebo can try and line the Irishman up again. Gets a low ball into the penalty area and Pinnock had to rescue that because behind him was Armstrong and Smallbone and it's a corner to Saints. He looks up. Big men have come up from the back. Smallbone launches it to the back post and it goes over the crossbar and it came off Brereton Diaz or was it Jack Stevens? Came off Stevens. It was probably one of the best chances. And again, it's simple. What they are trying to. Now that's a good ball from Arebo. Done brilliantly to hold off the defenders and then suddenly the ball goes through to Armstrong. Chance in the box and it's just a crucial touch. I think Ethan Pinnock stretching just stopped Adam Armstrong getting that through on goal. Had only got his keeper left there, the Flecken left to, uh, the, to go past, but... Well, so far, I was going to say Saints have done OK, but now they're in trouble. Walker Peters is giving it away. Damsgaard's cross hits Harwood Bellis, who gets a toe on it, takes the pace off it and deflects it kindly back to Ramsdale. Phew! Playing it out, a terrible pass from Walker Peters, put Bednarik in trouble, and Bradford absolutely should have scored. And Damsgaard couldn't get the ball quick enough across the 18 yard box, and he should have done. And Bradford should have just slotted it home for 1 0. Yeah, but Harvard, off. But Harvard Bell is. Now nah, they've given it away again, and in the box is Sharda. Narrow angle, hits the post, back to Embremo, 1 0. And Saints' fortune ran out. You can't keep making mistakes near your own penalty area and expect not to get punished in the Premier League. Brian and Bremo has the first goal of the game. It's another goal for him against Southampton. And once more, Brentford are hurting Saints at the Brentford Community Stadium. That's nine goals in a row against Saints in the Premier League. And this one, again, was all of Southampton's own making. And now Saints have a corner. It's headed away at the near post from the left. It's back to Sugar Wara who shoots it. That's their best effort of the first half. Can't do so. Then Smallbone wins it back as they're sloppy. Norgard again caught. Back to Downs near the edge of the penalty. Good ball out wide on the right to Sugawara. Looks for a cross. Armstrong's missed, kicked it four yards out in front of goal. He's completely missed it with his right foot. It's come off his left foot and gone away from the goal. And now he can drive, and Walker Peters is struggling to get back with him. He's in the box on the right and then plays a poor ball. And Sampton can come away from trouble. And there's Fernandez. That's what you're on about, Joe Tessum, a midfielder who can play on the half turn, pick a ball, run 30 yards, and now he's picked out Archer. Back comes Ruslar, but Sampton is suddenly 35 yards from goal. And Brereton Diaz goes into Fernandez. He's got a bit of space. Feeds Archer, who's just held off by Ruslar. Excellent defending. But Ma Mateus Fernandez almost transforming Southampton on his own there. As Harwood Bellis comes off and 
Damsgaard plays the first time ball, gets it back off Wissa, gives it back to Wissa, edge of the D, threaded through for Mbwemo, he just goes too much on it, and out of his line comes Ramsdale. He's had a good game, Ramsdale, by the way, we haven't talked about him that much. No, he's, he's been there a couple strong. of good saves, but he's been really quick off his line, he's distributed well, it's been a difference. Aribo's held himself on side beneath us, and he's picked out by a lovely pass from Mateus Fernandes. What a lovely footballer he is, the young Portuguese player. Forward it goes and square from Aribo onto... Downs now Brereton Diaz it's deflected as well and that'll be another corner every shot he takes gets deflected he stepped in off that left hand corner of the penalty area drifted in field and hit a right footed shot plenty of lime shirts in front of him he goes back out to the right there they might have a two on one here Bumbuemo steps in and he's got Ruslov going to the byline hangs it into the six yard area heads go up comes back out for the shot and it's drilled against the Saints defence by Norgard and then Bumbuemo will shoot and Ramsdale will save and Saints survive again, it remains 1-0 to Brentford. Yeah, and it's, uh, I think it's given uh, for uh, also an offside in there for, for that, but well played, Brentford. Ram still picks it up very easily, uh, he's looked solid, Adam. Saints playing out from the back, caught in possession again, near their penalty area, back to Mbwemo, 2-0, game over, it's happened in each half. Southampton are absolutely doing themselves here at Brentford, they're losing this game, by the way they're playing the game and that was all too easy and Bremo gets his second and both have been wrapped in Christmas wrapping tied with a ribbon and handed to him on the edge of the area 2-0 Brentford yeah, I'm not yeah, blaming yeah. Uh, Jack Stevens for it but he helps uh, uh, Bednarik right, Sugar has made a run here Tyler Dibbling's cut inside from the right Saints trying to get back into it Dibbling shot saved Sugar and then volleys a foot over the bar and the flag goes up, he was offside anyway, but Dibbling was certainly onside when he had his shot. This is bright as Saints have looked with the dibbling Sugawara combination for the last ten minutes. The manager will take responsibility, as he should, for the way they're playing. Ball slung in from the deep throw, headed towards the back post, should be 3-0. It is 3-0, but the referee, I think, has, he's given a handball. I think he's given Saints a free kick. Brentford think he's given a goal. I think the referee... Uh, he's given a goal, Adam. He's it's given the goal. He's given the goal. Well, Saints... Well, you know one thing he's going to say, you can't make mistakes like that. Yeah, I hope so. I hope he didn't say we're being brave. And we, uh, you know, you can't just keep saying, well, that's what we do. Um, as Dibbling comes off the right wing, fires a shot. And I'll tell you what, if that had been inside the left post, I don't even think Flecken would have moved his feet. It's gone two or three yards wide, but to get back inside his own half and do this a lovely first touch from Lallana, take it away from Jensen, who he could feel was coming into, so he turned it with the little flick, the little Cruyff. And now he gets it back 20 yards out. Lovely little pass. Back it goes in. Surely, Fernandez. Oh, it's blocked. I think Flecken got his body to it. I thought Saints were off the mark for the season. Lalana unlocking Brentford's defence there. But uh, Dibbling and Lalana have made... Uh, and, and Fernandez have been very bright, the three substitutes. All wanting possession, Joe. That's what I like. All demanding oh, the ball. As Dibbling on the left has Fernandez on his outside. He's going to put the cross in. Curls it beautifully. Collins wins it. Back to Downs. Tries to shoot. No power on it. Pinnock heads it away. Only as far as Lalana. He does well to find Dibbling again. And then Dibbling chips it over the top for him. That's a great ball. Nodded down. That's a brilliant goal from Yuki Sugawara. Saints are going to lose the game. But they'll do well to score better goals than that this season. Beautifully crafted, lovely play from Dibbling, Fernandez, and particularly Adam Lalana. And Yuki Sugawara, with his left foot coming off the right, hit it past Fleck and yeah. Brentford lose the clean sheet. Saints had their first Premier League goal of the season. And I, I, I think it's, it's brilliant. And then you have Fernandez who wants to run the quick with the ball. Yeah, I made a couple of uh, bad passes, but that's what we want. That's the full time whistle, as you can hear behind us. Saints have lost their third game in a row on their return to the Premier League. They head into the international break pointless from three matches.